or they'll there's two fifty meter two they'll or my battle axe and weapons of war. So yeah, on the, the Lord gonna turn us into that battle axe, who gives that power, and we're going after these fucking creepos. These fucking like you said, these creepy crawlers, bro. These fucking weirdos, child molesters, they getting hacked to pieces. So with that or my battle axe and weapons of war, but with feet, we're gonna break in pieces and make See that? It's a pedophile in the top. It's the woman with the clothes. It looked like she was actually about But did you see the little girl's breast was exposed? Yeah, I seen that. It looked like she was about to hand her over to him. Probably was. That's why I say pedophile in the complex. Did you see the man's butt cheek? Yes, I did. I kind of wish I hey, did. Hey, look, look, let me, since we talk about it in the camera, let's go investigate. I'll be right back, y'all. We're going to go investigate. <laughs> hey, think I'm, the people on the camera are like, what the fuck are they talking about? Let's go investigate. I'll be right back. You got to watch both videos to get the whole story. We're going to investigate. All right, here we go. We're walking up on a child molester statue. It's right in front of the state house. They let you know who runs this shit. Fucking child molesters. All right, here's the woman. That's probably the queen of heaven. That's probably the queen of heaven. That's probably represents Baal too. But look, you see, it goes the little girl. You can see her little nipples exposed. That's pretty. That, that's that's pedophilia, right? Again, she looks like she an accomplice. A compass. And they and look, she's looking up to that guy, ain't she? That guy's running shit right there. William McKinley, the devil. Yeah. Well, let's go look at this one. And look at him. He's looking down at that little boy like. And he looked like he done raped the hell out of him. Look, little boy is all naked, barely wearing clothes. He looks kind of sad too. Yeah, he just got raped. How would you feel? And you go back here, look at this. Got his butt cheek showing. Man, what sculpt? They did that on somebody had to sculpt that. They like, yeah, we're gonna show his butt cheek. They put time and care to that butt cheek. You know what I mean? He's sitting there and chills with that butt cheek out. Yeah, he's probably rubbing it. Like all oh, this, you know what I mean? And that was approved by the government to be put in front of the building. I think we lying out here. That's some faggot shit. I gotta get back down here. That's crazy though, ain't it? Yeah. And people walk by, nobody ever says nothing. It's like, oh, it's a cool statue. tongue no more as touching the wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them for those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Oh yeah. So that's why we out here we complaining continually. They're like, why y'all always out here? I will hold my tongue no more as touching the wickedness which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them those things in which they weakly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry for unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Yeah, so the Lord, the Lord going to avenge all the, all the innocent. Like all these little children get molested out here. We just showed on camera. The, the child molestation uh, uh, statue down there. Because you, hey, that's a popular thing, little children getting snatched up. That's why you always hear about uh, little Israelite children coming up missing. Did you hear about that uh, so-called Jew that Edomite, he got caught uh, selling little uh, black babies' uh, body parts on the black market? 
They, he was they was selling organs. He was snatching oh, yeah, them up and them. killing them selling their organs. He, he just got caught. He's going to prison. And they said something like, uh, just from the melanin, somehow they can extract the melanin from the dark skin. And then you get over $300 per gram of melanin. The price actually jumped to 450 So you heard about that, right? Yeah. So, but that's what they do. That's why, you know what I mean? They, they just snatch little children off the streets. That's why you can't, especially these little women, too, man. They have straight snatch your daughters off the streets and put them on the sex trade market. You hear it all the time. You see on Facebook all the time people posting, I ain't seen my daughter in uh, two weeks. You know what I'm saying? All the time. Like, anybody let me know if you see her. Texas is like, yeah, they always come up missing. They ain't gonna find them either. Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, Behold, I was sent for many fishers, said, I will, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, and from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. For my eyes are upon all their ways, they are not hid from the wickedness, all the wicked ass ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes. And first will I recompense their iniquity and their sin double, because they have defiled my land and have filled my, filled my inheritance with the pastors in the middle of the bottom of things. Hey, good. All right, man. Hey, read, read that again. Okay. So Jeremiah 16 and 16, For behold, I will send for many fishers, save the hour, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt from like, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the hills and the rocks. Right, because right now we out here fishing. Because we're in the Lord. He when he first seen uh, Peter and his brother, he's out fishing on a boat. Right, and the Lord said, "Put your nets down. Follow me. I'm gonna make you fishers of men." So that's why we out here fishing. You know what I'm saying? And you supposed and we out here fishing for the elect. And we, we, we we ain't keeping everything we catch either, you know what I'm saying? Like when you go fishing, you catch a carp, you don't keep that, you throw the carp back. You get a nasty ass catfish, you throw that motherfucker back. Cause you get some catfish up in here, try to come up in here, bro. Whiskers and shit. Yeah, whiskers and yeah, all nasty and slimy and shit. You throw them slimy motherfuckers back. Okay, I got a question. A rough, a rough ass skin, they yeah. pull them off. They take pliers to pull that shit off, man. They <laughs> do, they gotta use You pliers. gotta cut the cord on and pack oh, out of there. Or at least speak. Would I be wrong if someone touched my daughter and I killed her? Wait a minute, what? Would I be wrong if, I if someone touched my daughter and I killed her? You're really wrong. Y'all depends, though. If he just raped your daughter and just to rape her and cast her off, he deserved death. I mean, like, if my daughter is about, say, four years old. It's a old. child, man. You got to kill that motherfucker. Bro. Okay, good, good. I mean. But, and you will kill that motherfucker. And, and, Ain't nobody going to be looking at that motherfucker. Right. And in this you know, kingdom, though, you, you'll kill. If somebody did that to your daughter, and then you killed them, yeah, they'll still lock you up for a few years. But they'll get be like involuntary manslaughter or something. Yeah, they, and they'll yeah, still lock a you charge. up. You're right. They'll still give you a charge. And that's still a lock devil. You up. That's a devil. That's a devil. Man. Unrighteous decrees. He's unrighteous in his, in his judgment, man. He's very unrighteous. Just like with adultery, the scriptures say you can put uh, somebody. Uh, if you catch your wife cheating on you, say you walk home after a hard day's work, your wife's in there fucking. Riding somebody, Been moaning over. and shit. Been over. Yeah, and you and just out the spirit, you red. just caught in a moment. You yeah. just kill both of them. You'll see red. Right. You'll, you'll still get locked up on a lesser charge. You'll probably get like five years or something. They won't, cause they'll call it. Cause I'm not playing the OJ in my life. But that's why what well, that's why OJ was with the Lord on that one day. Because what OJ Simpson did was an act of the Lord. What he did was uh, scriptural. I say he didn't do it. And even though he, he went through the court of law, but they I still said, went after him years later. Yeah, they, they still got him. And like, he just covered it up. Nah, he did, he did that. He killed them motherfuckers. Yeah. That motherfucker was conditioned to kill That's funny, since we talking about the law, let's walk apart. Let's go into adultery in that, that uh, What's up, bro? Uh, this is Deuteronomy. 22 and 22. If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, that they shall both of them die, both the man that lie with the woman and the woman, so shall not put away from Israel. Yeah, that's 
damsel that is a virgin be betrothed to a husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her. Then ye shall bring them both unto out unto the great of the city, and ye shall stone them with stones that they may die. The damsel, because she cried not, well, she was really undercover, liking it. She actually she was undercover, wanting somebody to rape her ass, you know. And that's a lot of these women's fantasy is to get raped. Man. A whole lot of these women's fantasies to get raped. They say, oh, nah, 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 nah that ain't true. That ain't that's true. why they like it rough, man. That's why, yeah, they like, they, 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 like, they, like that, they like that strength. They do. Power. They, they like, like to be power, dominated. Man. Yeah. Just say dominated. These women are just secrets on here. I mean, there's a difference between unexpected domination and then expected domination. Because you got them rape fantasies, they call them. They like to do role playing. They want, like a... A woman might want you to dress up like a robber or so, yeah, sneak in the yeah, house at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Man, I popped a bitch one time, man. She was like choking, choking. I was choking, but not hard. I was just acting like I was choking. She was like, nah, 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 you really choked me. You choked me harder. And I totally lost interest, man. I was like, no. <laughs> I totally lost interest. I got up, man. And I'm not making this up. It's a true story. She said, choke me harder, harder. And I just totally lost interest. I'm not dying into that. That, 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 what they call it, bonded sex? The, the, what is it, the, the oh, man, yeah, I'm into that shit, man. <laughs> the you know, I'm a perfect performer behind the booty, man, so I don't need to be acting like I'm doing something else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, man. I'm an Israelite. You know? I'm an Israelite. <laughs> shit. I don't need to act. <laughs> shit. You know how brothers are, man. Yeah, I mean, everything totally out of order out here, man. It's a booty, man. All you true self come out. Because you don't, there's you, not, you can be a man when you're behind some booty, man. So why you wanna act the role? You wanna be who you are behind that booty, man. Between the legs, man. You don't need to have one to need to act like you're something else. Yeah, you do a role play. To. You shouldn't have to. You know? She, she, she wants you like a dog. She wants you to dress up like Batman or something. Act like a fucking mailman or some shit. Yeah, dress up like a mailman, electrician. Right. Yeah, home with some tools on. That, that episode of the South Park. You know, you know, <laughs> Butters. Butter came home. And uh, he seen uh, his mom with the UPS guy. <laughs> but the UPS guy was his actually his dad. But he went and told everybody and then, that he got everybody excited and fired up. And actually they went out and beat the UPS man's ass. <laughs> 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 when it was actually her, his dad. Yeah, they do shit like that. You right. see it all the time. Because right. you, cause you be, I be on the different internet site, you see the woman, they be posting their fantasies. They tell, I need someone to do this, this, and this to me. You know what I'm saying? They do some role playing. Never. Yeah, Never. that's some weird shit. I'm excited man. enough to a woman. I'm an Israelite. You know? I'm overwhelming to these women, man. I stay who I am. I stay in character. I stay who I am. So, you know, now hey. knowing this, we got this wisdom, and I know I'm a god in these chains of bondage. I got the These raggedy ass right. bodies. And my, once you become, once you wake up to being a god, man, it, it brings some arrogance. And you can't help it, though. It bring a little bit of arrogancy out, don't it? But we got it in check, though. Hey, I got, we I keep got, that shit in I check. I got a script going to how your woman was supposed to do it. Right. Uh, First Peter uh, 3 and 1. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. Subjection? Yeah, she, so she's supposed to be subjection. Subjection? <laughs> subjection? But y'all have some dudes. Don't, don't let that woman uh, run that house. You know what I'm saying? Let them. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. She's your subject. Like a king has his subjects. You know what I mean? Yeah, sub means under. Jack, Jack means a I'll keep going, bro, until you get that. Uh, likewise, you wise. Uh, first Peter 3 and 1. You're doing the blue letter. Okay, that thing that you were talking about earlier, I finally see it. To East North, to High and Fenway. Yep. Uh, uh, so, uh, I mean, now you just got like a closer home. She's beautiful. I know, what well, you was like saying about... You talking, talking about, about our queens like that? No, I mean half-naked. It's a goddess. She used to be worshipped. First Peter 3 and 1. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. Yeah, you don't want to hear the conversation of the wives. All they talking about is, ah, 
He don't even treat you right, though. You need to leave him, though, and get you a better man that got a real job. That nigga beat your ass? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, they behold your chase conversation coupled with fear. Who's adorning? Let it not be that outward adorning of plating of the hair and wearing of gold and putting on apparel. That's all these women care about, looking good. They got their little jewelry, their little right fake there. gold. You know what I mean? Adios. Yeah, that's why you do. You blast scriptures, you can delete it. Uh, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, and that which is not corruptible, even an ornament of the meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of the Most High, great price. Oh, yeah, that's why the, like Proverbs, uh, was it 30? 30, 30, it says, uh, uh, uh What's that scripture that says uh, a virtuous woman is price is higher than rubies? Because you want a woman that got a meek and quiet spirit. Not no woman, you know, a high maintenance woman. You don't want no old high maintenance woman. She, she got to have the best everything. She got Versace glasses. She got all the gold, got the pearls. Hey, she getting her hair done for five hours every day. Got them fingernails, of, uh, <laughs> a foot long fingernails with diamonds. Diamonds and gold on the fingernails. You know what I'm saying? For after this matter in the old time. Yeah, we're going to talk about the old times. What were the old times like? I am young. For after this matter in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in the Most High adorned themselves being in subjection to their own husbands. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. So yeah, the woman's supposed to call you Lord. But they're, they're not gonna do that. You daydreaming, you, you live in fantasy land thinking they're gonna call you Lord. Too busy calling you nigga. Yeah, that's what she gonna call nigga. you. Nigga, nigga. Like gonna call you. I mean, I don't know, I heard that white bitch this objection right here. So that, that's a righteous woman. These, these women, they, they be on Facebook. God loves me. I'm a child of God. I'm a child, you know what I mean? Well, if God loves you, if you're such a righteous woman, call your husband Lord. Let's right. see you do that. Right. They ain't going to do that. To subjection them to the Bible, to okay. arrange under. To, to arrange under. To arrange under. To, to subordinate. To, a subordinate. Subject. That's why, because when the Lord created Adam and Eve, he said, what? I'm making a help me for Adam. The help, she's there to help you, not hinder you. Did not to be a ball and chain, as they call her. <laughs> woman means what? Woman, woman is of the man. That's what it means. Servant. A servant. Yo. To subject oneself, obey. 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 Obey! Obey! Not the new world order, obey. <laughs> you know, obey. To submit to one's control. And that's how you know we live in a Satan's kingdom. Because they, they totally uh, uh, took a shit on all the scriptures in the Bible, bro. I don't know how else to say it. They, they just totally done away with all the ordinances in the Bible. They let the woman run their mouth. They let women run around half naked down the street. It's legal for a woman to walk around half naked walking down the street showing all their body parts, breast is exposed, booty showing, camel toe showing, and that's legal. I always, and nobody says nothing. They be like, oh, you look good, baby. That's what they'll say. And everybody's looking at it too, like, oh, look at that ass. It's somebody's wife too. Yeah, it'd be someone's wife. That's out of order. That's how we know America is the kingdom of Satan. And that's why the Lord's going to destroy America. Just like the Lord rained fire on Sodom and Gomorrah, he's going to rain fire on America. America. You, yeah, America. He <laughs> <laughs> can't say that shit with a straight face. Right, right. America. <laughs> yeah, this place is mad. America's madness and confusion, man. Uh, crazy. A giant crazy house. Yeah, it's a, yeah right. It's a crazy house. It's a goddamn Arkham Asylum. Uh, middle, uh, young America, the mental hospital. You know? You want to talk about the uh, resident evil, 
when the Resident Evil, when he was in the, with one, one of the Resident Evils, they were in a crazy house, a hospital, zombies and shit walking yeah, yeah. around. America is a new, that's the new hospital, that's yeah. a new crazy Everybody house. Everybody on that medication too. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. take the little happy pills, yeah. them yeah. SS, what are they called, the SSRI pills? Ooh-wee. The uh, antidepressant pills. Everybody's all whacked out of their heads. And they finding out them antidepressant pills is causing Man, all the kind of problems. It makes people violent. It's causing different problems. Because you'll be all happy one minute, the next minute you're like slicing your children up. Yeah, right, right, right. You know what I mean? And woke up and never knew what you did. Yep. 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 I'm sorry, I'm lost. What happened? Because a lot of motherfuckers taking that medicine, man, they wait to hit, hit with symptoms of all Amnesia. Yep. They have uh, temporary back. amnesia. Because they messing with the serotonin levels in your brain. Yep. Yep. The serotonin reuptake inhibitors is what they call it. Calls, calls, the, calls the killer point balance. Yep. That's some scary shit. Plus, well, so they already shit. got demons on them. Right. You better pray for the Lord to protect you, man, because you don't know what the fuck they put in the waters, man. That's going to cause you to have but a they said, balance. Yeah, but they said all the people that take them antidepressant pills, they're shitting it out and pissing in the water, and it gets in the water supply. Yeah, yeah. So every time you drink some water, you getting that in you too. Same shit. And they said they test a positive for high levels of uh, antidepressant pills. That's Where crazy. that shit going? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Man. That's crazy. Everybody's body react different to these things, man. Everybody reacts. Cause we actually drinking our own shit and piss. They actually take the shit and piss. They take all the toilet water, the, you know, shit and diarrhea in the toilet. They take it. Esau goes, oh, we're going to clean this up. We're going to drink this. Hey, yeah, we're going yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna to filter this some bit. We're going to drink this. How crazy is that? Well, now, now, now the U.S. just signed an agreement with Japan to ship certain foods from Japan to here, man, like uh, like beef. Yeah, like yeah. You know their fake beef they got. Uh, they we should, they probably shit. already eating shit yeah. steaks. This, yesterday, they signed, two days ago, they just signed an agreement with Japan to start shipping some, certain things from there to here. They already got the fake steaks. You go to the store, they got uh, steaks. Did they use pork paste to glue the steaks together? There's a video on it. Yeah. They show you the video where they're actually gluing steak parts together. That's crazy, man. They got a whole assembly line that does that shit. That's bugged out. It's you a devil, takes man. witness to a whole different level, man. So you buy a whole steaks, you eat pork too. I'm glad I don't eat much red. I don't eat much red meat anymore. Anyway, I don't eat way. much meat at all. You don't know what that red meat is next week. You don't know what's in the vegetables. Right. You know what kind of uh, what's that shit they spray on the crops? Roundup. <laughs> they, they they got Roundup residue on all the crops. That causes all kind of. Uh, Roundup got sued like what two years ago? Yeah, Monsanto. Monsanto. Because sometimes, yeah, you be eating the greens and stuff, too. That shit be tasting nasty, bro. Stuff's like, food's so disgusting, you don't want to eat nothing. People's poison. Perfect devil. But God love everybody, though. Seeing men of the Lord out here, man, that teaches you good and evil and bad. What to say in the scriptures? Uh, uh, profane and profane. What do we just find? We find it. We need it. We get that. Let's see if I can find it, please. Profane. Oh, I got a script for that one. Hold up. It's that Ecclesiastes right there, boy.
check this out. This is Ezekiel 22 and 26. The priests have violated my Lord and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Neither have show, they show difference between the unclean and the clean. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I have profaned among them. You know, wicked men are sent forth to actually keep people from the story. This is for my Israelites, James. Israel is the, the master of madness. The Israel, man, he's the expert at coming up with the, the new crazy shit you ain't never heard. Come up with the new craziest doctor. Like there's an Israelite priest down in South America. He told his whole congregation, he had women, he's like, if you want to be saved, you got to drink my sperm. And that's what he told them, and they all believed it. Yeah, the one that said, it's probably the same one that said drink motor oil, too. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of crazy madness yeah. is that? That was in the news. the same one. I said that when a crowd of people stuff by. It was awful. Yeah.